Hmm. Well, if it isn't Mr. Boxy McBoxhead. Try saying that five times as fast. Took me ten takes just to say it once. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager Class Motormaster. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. There we have a picture of Motormaster all like, my head's still in a box, ooh yeah. I still give him Randy Savage's voice, I don't know why. It's because of animated, that's why. And of course, Transformers in red and black like a boss, because they know what's up, they have their Autobot symbol, there you have Manasaur, he is part 3 of 5 of Manasaur, and you can combine him with the other Stunticons that I don't have yet to make a Manasaur. Can stabs! You have your obligatory product shot, and you have your bio if you'd like to read it. And you also have it in other languages, if you'd like to read that also. That is, if you can read other languages, which I cannot, so there. I can read the Spanish one, actually, but that's basically it. That's it! for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the master of motors himself, the leader of the Santacons, Mr. Motormaster, and he is quite cool. And um, I dig him, and as you can see, he looks a lot like Optimus Prime. Oh, But um, there are a lot of differences between the two, and we'll get into those in a little bit, because as always, I always forget the most important parts. Oh my god. Why do I keep forgetting this? The collector's card! Hello! Uh, pretty cool, though. Even though this looks nothing like the actual toy that's in the box. But these pictures come from the uh, the mobile game, so... There you have that, Mr. Motormaster. Transformer Generation. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So there you go. Motormaster! He's a truck. Very nice. He's got the gray. Got the purple windshield. Some purple detailing along the side. A little bit of a uh, yellowish, kind of goldish. Got some nice silver here on the front grill. Little Decepticon symbol right there. And um, not a lot of paint on him. Not really a lot of paint at all. You got some black. You got on this back section here, like some gunmetal gray, which looks really good. Looks very, very nice. But, um, yeah. Very, very cool. Now, for comparison, we'll bring in... His fellow Stunticon, the only other one that I have right now. Here he is with drag strip. So you can see how they look together. And we'll bring in Blackjack. Why not? So you have Blackjack. And yes, I know, Blackjack was a Micromaster. A lot of people have been pointing that out in his review. But guess what? It doesn't matter what you've done. All that matters is what you're doing now. And what is Blackjack doing now? He's being this guy. I'm not going to argue with it, so why should you? That's all I'm saying. That's you know, hey. But there's that. <laughs> People are sending me TF Wiki links. It's like, no, yeah, well, guess what he's doing now? He's this guy. Okay, so. Hasbro doesn't care about history. Why should you? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. But um, anyway, there he is with drag strip and blackjack again. So you can get a better look at it. So yeah, that's... And that's... And now we will bring in Mr. Optimus Prime. Actually, let me take off the guns here, just so you can see things a little more clearly. So, as you can see, it's not... It's not a straight repaint. They actually did... Whoa! As I shake that camera all over the place. So sorry for that. I was just trying to pull up my sleeves there, and I hit the camera. Um, but as you can see, they actually did quite a bit of remolding here. Um, these side panels here... Again, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But I will do my best. You can see here, like, these side panels are completely remolded. These side pieces right here, which lead into this section of the bumper here, is completely remolded. That's, that's a totally different mold. Uh, this windshield section right here is completely remolded. The front grills are a totally different mold. Obviously, Mortarmaster has that wind vane going on, while Optimus Prime does not. Um... The rear section here, which, which will uh, make up the combined mode chest, is a completely different mold. So that's another uh, big, big difference here. Again, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but I only have so much room here in the camera frame. 
But um, yeah, they actually did do quite a bit of remolding to this guy, so it's not a straight repaint, you know, by any means. But um, very cool. I, I really dig that they, that they that they put work into this to at least somehow make them different. So that's pretty cool. Now he does come with accessories. He comes with this very nicely painted silver gun, which is pretty cool. And he also comes with a sword, right here, also done in that very, very nice silver. I dig it. And there is storage for you. You can see there are tabs on either side of the gun right here. There are slots on either side of the sword. And you just take it. And just tab them together like that. And you can take it and plug it into either one of those ports back there. And voila, there is your storage. So, there you have that. Looks just as ridiculous, but hey, at least you can stick it somewhere and it's not just hanging off to the side. So there you have that. So let's just get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's say, as you can guess, the transformation is exactly the same as Optimus Prime with one extra step. You're going to take this little wind, wind vane part here and you're going to flip it forward. Yes. And um, there's actually a lot of molded detail underneath that, which you don't see in this mode, but it's there. So you're going to flip that forward. Just like that. Come to the front here. Untab these side panels here. Bring them down. Bring it down. Just want to untab these sections right here from the legs. Bring the arms down. They already untabbed themselves. Bring the arms down. Take those sections. Split it. Bring it to the back where they will tab in. Rotate the arms so the elbows are oriented properly like so and then you're going to well I'm going to raise the camera so I have more room to operate here and then you're going to take this whole assembly here and bring it down like that bring the legs down like that flip up his feet like that you can leave this panel up here do whatever you want with that and then you come up top and you just rotate this panel here, which will pop out his head. And there you go. There you have Murta Masta in his robot mode. Let me raise the camera a little bit more so you can get a good angle on this guy. There we go. That's better. Well, that's better. So there we go. There you have Motor Master in his robot mode. Um, really nice. This, honestly, it looks really good. Really, really dig it. Getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Got that nice box head look down packed. Very nice. Nice Decepticon symbol right there on his chest. Lots of nice detailing here on the body itself. And, you know, it looks good. Everything from the waist down is basically Optimus Prime. But, um... Still, looks, looks good. I dig it. I dig it. And articulation, as you would guess, is exactly the same. His head is on the ball joint. You do got some good wiggly waggly room even with the box head. So, yeah, you yeah. Know, some good tilted. You can look up. You can look a little bit down. I was going to do a full 360. They can go in and out from that nice ratchet joint. Bicep swivel. Elbow joint. 90 degrees of movement there. You do have your waist joint. Legs can go forward back. Nice clickety-clackety joints in and out. Again, more of that clickety-clackety goodness. You do get rotation at the knee. 90 degrees of movement at the knee. You can wiggle his toes up and down if you want. So there you have that. And of course, he can hold his weapons. I keep bumping the camera. Sorry, I keep trying to readjust my sleeves and I keep bumping the camera. My apologies. But you can give him his weapons, unplug them, give him his gun, give him his sword, and there you go. He is now ready for battle. They're very, very cool. I like him. I like him a lot. There you have that. Now for comparison, here he is with black blackjack. Here he is with drag strip. <laughs> As my brain stops working. Here's Blackjack. There he is with Blackjack. Again, just so you can see the uh, Stunticons that we have so far. So they have that. 
Move them out of the way. There he is, Wedge You and Motormaster, just because precious, oh, so precious. Oh, the original box set. There he is with animated Motormaster. Just because it gives me an excuse to do Macho Man's voice again. Oh yeah, I'm the Motormaster. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Animated Motormaster. And here he is with Prime. And again, you can see how much remolding they did. Basically, all the remolding was done to the upper body. The legs are exactly the same. Everything from the waist down is the same, but everything from the waist up is different. Again, don't know how well I'll be able to get all this in frame, but I will try my best. But um, as you can clearly see here, the chest piece, totally different. This whole, the whole abdomen section here, totally different. Shoulders are totally different. Even the forearms, the forearms are different molds. Um, see, he does have some kind of extra details going on here that Prime does not. So, again, they did quite a bit of remolding to these guys. Are the hands different? I think the hands are the same. No, the hands look the same. Yeah, the hands are the same, but... Yeah, I mean, like I said, they, they did quite a bit of remolding to this guy to make him look different and not just, hey, we repainted him and just slapped a new head on him or something, you know? It looks good. It looks really, really good. So there you have that. And of course, he does have the combined mode to become the central piece of Menasaur. So we can take the gun and the sword, and they can combine. And you can see right here at the, uh, the base of the sword, there is a little tab right there, because that's going to fit into this port. And you can see it's only meant to fit in one way, so just take it, plug it in. Booyah, and there you have the sword for Menasaur. So there you have that. We'll put that off to the side. And uh, getting him into his combined mode is exactly the same. Just going to rotate him at the waist. 180. Bring the hips out like two clicks. Bring these panels up. Honestly, they, they didn't fix the issue with the hips, so if you do actually tab this in where it's supposed to go. See, that's supposed to tab in right there. If you do actually tab this in where, where it's supposed to go, you're going to be left with the issue of either he's going to be standing with his feet really close together, or he's going to be really splayed out, one or the other. You, you know, There's no in-between, so really the best thing to do is just leave this untabbed. That way you can at least play around with that knee joint and get those legs where you want them to be. Um, that's really the best solution for that. Is just to not tab this plate in at all. But do that, leave the feet up. And then you're going to. Uh, I wish forget. Oh, yeah, you want to rotate the arms back like you're going back into truck mode. And this tab right here will plug in right into this slot right here. You just bring the arm up, just tab that in like that. We have that. Take the hand, flip it back to reveal the combiner port. There you have that. Now you can take his head, of course, and just rotate it back in there. That second verse, same as the first. Just rotate the arm, bring that up, tab that in like that. Take the cross plate, bring it down, bring it up on that double hinge right there, like that. Now you have the crotch plate. Open this section up. Bring up the Menasaur head. It's on this whole panel here that will slide up and back like that. Bring his horns up like so. And the horns are actually a, uh, a stiffer plastic. They're not that rubbery plastic like uh, Superion's horns were, which I do quite like. And I do like how he actually... It seems like they gave him uh, Age of Extinction Galvatron's chest there. That's kind of weird, yet kind of cool. So... And uh, there you go. There you basically have him in his combined mode ready to go. So now all we're going to do is get some limbs to slap on this guy. So, oh, but before I do that, actually, let me uh, bring in the, uh, the uh, combined mode here for Prime. So you can see, again, just how much remolding was done. I mean, a lot, a lot of remolding was done here. Again, you know, the chest bits, even this arm is remolded. The crotch plate is obviously remolded. Again, everything from the waist down is uh, the same. Although they did give this bit right here some of that nice, uh, that nice paint, though. 
But yeah, again, a lot of remolding done. Very, very cool, even with the chest closed. So you can see how they remolded all that. You can see, yeah. Lots of stuff done there. Very, very cool. So There we have that. And now we're going to slap some limbs on him. I don't have the rest of the Stunticons yet, but I still have aerial bots, so we're just going to slap some aerial bots on him. Just so at least we can get a sense here of the combined mode. We'll work with what we got. All right, let's put on... Oops. Raise things up here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm sure that would help. There we go. Slap on drag strip. Slide him on. Give him another aerial bot arm here. Get on there. You can take these little wind vane pieces too and flip them up if you want. Totally up to you. Gonna stand up a little bit better here. And there you have a kind of sort of menasaur. Um, oh, of course, and we take Blackjack. The micro master, but of course now he's just the chest guy. So <laughs> slap him on. And there you go. There you have a kind of sort of menasaur with some aerial bot limbs. So <laughs> it's not bad. It's honestly not bad. From the pictures I've seen, um, the, the pictures I saw made him look uh, worse in hand. He does look a lot better. Um, you know, we'll give him the sword here just to complete the look. But yeah, um,. Not bad. Not not bad at all. Um, it works. I mean, obviously, I, I will would like to have the rest of the Sunticons to have a proper Menasaur, but um, this is just to get a sense of how he looks totally combined with some limbs on him. Looks good. It actually looks a lot better in hand than it did in the pictures. The pictures really did not do him justice. Um, he, he does look way better in hand, I will say. Um, so yeah, very nice, very, very cool. Um, he's a decent figure. Uh, let me get in close here on the uh, head sculpt also. Let's show off that mug, a Minasaur mug. Very nice, I like the, the nice silver paint they put on him. Nice red eyes. It is a nice head sculpt. So, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Like I said, d definitely better in hand. Um, I can't wait to get the rest of the Stunticon so I can actually have a complete Menasaur. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. And just for one last comparison, here he is with G1 Menasaur. Precious, oh, so precious. Hey, look, I'm making it accurate, okay? Look, that is an accurate, a 100% accurate... <laughs> That was a 100% accurate comparison right there. A Menasaur with three aerial bot limbs. See? See? I'm nothing if not accurate. That is such a lie, but I, I will tell myself that, and I will believe it. Okay? That's, that's all there is to it. Oh, one more thing I should do before I uh, finish up here. For anyone who may ask, here he is with uh, Leader Megatron, just so you can see how they scale with each other. So there you have that. There you go. So, yeah, Motormaster. Motormaster is a very good. Uh, he's a very good standalone toy. Honestly, I would recommend him all by himself, even if you don't plan on getting the rest of the Sundacons. He's a very good standalone toy, and um, like I said, the combined mode definitely looks better in hand. Um, the pictures really did not do him justice, and. Uh, you know, like I said, I can't wait to get the rest of the Stunticons. Like we have a legit, complete Menasaur, but, you know, this is just to get a sense of how it's all going to look all put together. But very, very cool. I'm digging them. I'm digging them very much. And if you would like to be a part of the Combiner Wars and own some of these wonderful, wonderful toys, of course, that's a matter of opinion, but <laughs> I think they're cool toys. If you would like to get a Motormaster of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. 
And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager Class Motormaster. I almost forgot his name. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Motormaster! I found Dragstrip! I... He's... He, whoa! You almost tripped again. I'm clumsy! Uh, um... He's been wandering around a lot, so he's obviously very, very tired. Mm. I'll see. Thanks a lot, chest minion. I used to be a Micromaster. Yeah, well now you're a master of chess, so shut up. Hmm. Dragstrip! You awake? Where am I?